Hey guys, Near Beer One here, and uh, I'm back with another Homebrew Wednesday to, to share with you. I thought I'd do a couple things today. One is I'm going to try out a beer that I've never tried before. It is a Stone Brewery uh, Arrogant Bastard Ale, and uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews on uh, this particular ale, and I thought I would give it a try, give you, show you uh, what it looks like. And then uh, secondarily, I thought I would also uh, talk to you a little bit about some new toys that I've gotten in the mail. Um, I'm going to actually start trying to do a batch of all grain brew. And uh, I think I'm going to try the, the brew in a bag method. Uh, I've never done it before. I've actually done some partial grains, uh, but never a full grain or all grain uh, addition. So uh, at this point, I'm not really sure what um, the best type of to, to kind of start out is, you know, with um, maybe if you guys have suggestions on a good uh, type of or style of beer to try as a first uh, first pass at all grain, and uh, maybe is a little bit forgiving, more forgiving than others, uh, then reply and, and let me know what you think. Uh, I'm kind of thinking uh, somewhere along the lines of an IPA or Afeweizen, something like that, uh, something refreshing. Uh, but again, uh, I have not really done it before as far as all grain goes. And uh, so probably whatever one I try probably should be a little bit more forgiving than maybe some of the more intense ones that really, if you mess up one of the, the steps that you're, you're really hosed. So uh, if you have suggestions, uh, reply to this video, put a, uh, uh, a suggestion or a comment down in there. Uh, also follow me if, if you choose to. I'd love to have you and watch my videos. So uh, I'm going to start out with uh, tasting the uh, Stone Brewery uh, Arrogant Bastard Ale. Uh, you know, I have tried their uh, Stone IPA before. I thought that was a delicious beer. Uh, I've really started to kind of grow um, an appreciation for, um, for IPAs. Uh, I really can appreciate the amount of effort and thought that goes into picking which hops and where, you know, where to do it as far as in the boil, you know, doing an early boil, you know, early addition to the, to the boil or late addition or dry hopping. There's all kinds of different, um, different combinations that you can get into, all kinds of different combinations of hops. Um, so, you know, I'm really stoked about trying to do some of that. And I know like Emiladius, you know, he's probably the, the one guy on the internet that's definitely a hop, hop expert. Uh, I know there's probably plenty others too. So, um, but at any rate, let's start out with the, uh, the Arrogant Bastard Ale. Let's give it a little bit of a pour. It's definitely coming out uh, a nice amber color. Got a decent little head on it. You can see uh, really nice carbonation. I don't know if you can see this or not. Right away, man, I can smell the hops not even putting it to my nose. Definitely a malty smell to it. Maybe a little bit of hops. I thought it was a hops in the beginning, but it's a little bit more malty than it is hoppy. Smells good though. Let's give it a taste. good. You definitely get the malt, malt taste. Um, definitely hops. There is a good hop um, aroma and flavor in there. I'm not really sure uh, what kind of hops it's using. I'll take another taste. Again, I've tasted, um, you know, hoppier uh, brews before. But this definitely has a, a hop note to it um, all throughout. It's got a pleasant aftertaste, good tongue feel. Um, I wouldn't really say it was floral. More kind of a, a little bit more of an oaky, kind of a, a, a little bit of a sharp edge uh, at, at the back end of it. Um, but it's good. I like it. I ought to give it a try. If you if you uh, like your hops, and uh, definitely the, the two that I've tasted from Stone, 
uh, now the Arrogant Bastard Ale and the um, the IPA. They're both uh, definitely on the hop side. Uh, got some really good flavors. Uh, definitely can try to pick out the different uh, mouthfeel and taste as it as it goes down, and the you know the the nice uh, taste afterwards. So really good. Um, I'm gonna take a pause here, and I'm gonna get the video camera. I'm gonna show you my new uh, my new toy that I've got, and uh, just uh, tell you a little bit about the equipment that I'm getting in. So uh, be right back with you. Okay, uh, I'm back here with you, and I was going to show you my first uh, new toy that I've got. Uh, I, I got a, a propane burner. It's a Bayou Classic Banjo burner, and um, really fairly high rated, it looked like, from what I read about it. Uh, but it's got nice, really sturdy um, uh, cast iron uh, things to hold your pot. Uh, definitely, I think it said it can hold up to 60 gallons very easily, so that's that's definitely a plus if you're doing a big batch. Uh, if you kind of look out here, uh, it definitely has plenty of different burner space uh, as far as uh, you know, adding a lot of heat, propane uh, heat to it. Uh, I think it said it had 120,000 BTUs. I, I'd be honest with you, I don't know if that's good or not, but just to give you a, a dimension of size. And place my hand on top here it definitely is a good size uh, I think the um, the width is 22 inches uh, and so I think the, the pot over here I'm going to show you just a second is about an 18 inch pot um, so here's the pot that I've got and uh, this one's a 20 gallon and uh, nice solid uh, pot I've actually had this one for a while it's not brand new but um, I've used it to kind of power boil um, Boston butts or whenever I'm doing some type of barbecue or smoking barbecue uh, I've used this before so really is a good pot for gumbo or uh, crab boil or something like that uh, but for my new use uh, we're gonna do a, a batch of all grain I'm not sure if I can find a bag big enough to fit uh, the top of that uh, if you guys have suggestions or know of bags that are big enough to kind of fit this pot, it's 18 inches across. I'm not sure what the circumference is. I I'm, forgive my math there. Um, but if you know of something that big, then let me know. Uh, I'm not sure if the five gallon uh, bucket sizes will do it. So uh, I, again, trying to not to avoid not doing too much. I don't really want to invest in a mash ton right now. Although maybe down the road I'll do that and uh, if I can't find a bag big enough maybe I'll have to resort that way and get a little bit more of equipment. But uh, anyway those are my new toys and I just thought I would uh, share those with you. And uh, at any rate uh, that's about it for this week. Happy Homebrew Wednesdays and uh, cheers guys. 17.